You've got your store online, and now you need a way for your customers to buy your products fast. And here at Ignite Woo, we've got the solution for you. It's called Quick Order Forms, and I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it works, and we'll get all that done in about five minutes. So stay with me, and let's have a look. What you see on your screen right now is a demo site with an order form that I've created, and this store has about a dozen products that we can use for testing here today. At the top of the screen, we have a search form where you can search by title or SKU. You can filter it by category, click the search button, and see your results down here in the table. There's a show all button that resets the form if you need to. There is a page link control so I can choose how many products per page I want to be viewing. And then there's a page navigation to switch between pages. And then below that we have the table. This table is highly configurable. You can choose which columns show up. For example, if you don't want the SKU, disable it. It won't show up. Um, you can link to the product title if you want to, meaning when you click, it clicks through to the single product page for that item, but you don't have to link it. You can display the title without having it hyperlinked. And um, each column, well, name, SKU, and price columns have sorting capabilities. So you can see I can sort by name or I can sort by price, high to low, etc. I can sort by SKU if I want to. And then we have the add to cart features, which is what this form is all about. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit so you can see this mini cart widget that this theme has. When I click and add something to the cart, the mini cart widget updates, gives you a little visual feedback. And this form supports variable products, virtual affiliate products, any kind of product you want. You can configure which products show up in this form. And I'll give you an overview of the settings here in just a moment. But let me show you what this little checkbox here is for. Um, as you just saw, I could go through here and just add items to the cart by clicking the button. But maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to choose two of those and four of those and... Uh, five of these and I'll just select these check boxes here and then I can go through the form and maybe I'll take two of those and one of those is fine just check off the ones I want and then I can click boom and they are added to the cart as you can see here so fast and effective not only is it fast and effective but it's also fully responsive it works in mobile devices too. Let me give you a look at that real quick. Let's switch the view here. Here you can see I've got a simulator set up and this is an iPhone X in the simulator. This is the form loaded in the simulator. The pagination works, all of these controls work and you can see the form has collapsed itself a little bit so that you get a nice neat view. And if I want to expand that view, I click the plus sign and I have the price and the add to cart button, etc. So I can still add these items to the cart as I'd like. So it works in iPhone, Galaxy models, whatever you want. Here's a Pixel from Google, iPad, etc. It works in all kinds of different uh, mobile devices. There's the landscape view. We can go back to the iPhone and you'll see this and landscape view looks pretty nice. So it is fully mobile and responsive. Okay, so let's take a look at the settings of a quick order form. In your WordPress admin area under the WooCommerce menu, you'll find a menu item labeled quick order forms. That's where you'll find all of your forms listed. Here we can see the demo form I've been using today. You can, and by the way, you can create as many forms as you like for whatever purposes. So let's look at the settings page. When you come here to the settings page, you're going to have a title, a group of settings, and in the right sidebar, you'll find the short code. And this short code appears after you have given the form a title and saved it for the first time. So you can copy this short code, put it in a page somewhere on your site. Or if you're a PHP developer, you can copy this snippet of PHP code and use that. So let's have a look at the settings. The first setting is disable search bar. So you can disable that if you want to. Products per page lets you set the default number of products displayed per page. 
You can also disable paging altogether if you want to, which is handy if you want to show a, a short form with a few products or a longer form with all products. You can choose to show the product price, the product thumbnail, the SKU number, and a short description snippet. And let me explain the snippet. What it does is takes uh, about 150 characters of your product description without the HTML and presents that on the order form for each line item. You can also choose to link the product title to the individual product page if you want to. If you don't want to, your product name shows up and it's not hyperlinked. Um, you can disable the multi-add to cart functionality if you want. And that, if you recall, was the series of check boxes down the right side of the page with the single um, add multiple to cart button down at the bottom of the form. You can also disable Ajax Add to Cart if you need to. There are some use cases where people want to do that. We were asked to add this feature by various customers, so we did. Um, and if you don't know what Ajax is, that's the functionality where you saw me adding items to the cart. I would click the Add to Cart button, and it would update without refreshing the page. So that's Ajax technology. So you can disable that if you want, and when you do, and someone adds something to the cart, the entire page is going to reload. Um, you can also uh, set the default sorting options here by title, date, random order, menu order, SKU, or price. You can include or exclude product categories and individual products. This is really handy and uh, a really powerful feature. For example, if you want to make an order page that only shows a select few categories, you can do that. Just select whatever categories you want, and those will be the only types of products that show up on the order page. Conversely, if you wanted to show all products except maybe two or three categories, you can do that as well, just by excluding certain categories. Similar functionality exists here for include and exclude products. If you wanted to have an order page with a set series of products, you could do that. Just search for whatever products you want to include in the page, if I can type correctly for you here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just select whatever products you want. And likewise, maybe you want to display all products except certain products from a given category and uh, select individual products. You can do that as well. And you can also control access to your order form pages by defining specific roles. For example, if you're using our Wholesale Pro Suite, you may want to make a form just for your wholesale buyers. You can do that. Um, and if they don't have access, they will see the access denied message, whatever you define here when they try and land on that page. So that's it, guys. We hope you like it. If you have any questions, or have ideas or feature requests for this software, we'd love to hear it. More often than not, we'll add features for you. Um, you can go to our contact page on our website and shoot us a message there, or you'll find a phone number on that page, and you can call us. And yes, we do answer the phone. We're here Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and sometimes on weekends. So feel free to reach out. And uh, we hope you like it, and we'll see you next time.